Let's say you have this amazing collection of video games that you want to show to your friends. Like the neat freak you are, you want to rearrange the game so that your friends will be impressed by your collection. To do this, you would need to find the number of possible combinations. In order to make it easier for you, we're going to limit the number of games to 5. Your first method might be to make a table that lists all the possible combinations. However, this method would use up a ton of paper and would take forever figuring out. Fortunately, you can get the same answer without wasting your precious time. Since this situation requires an arrangement that must include all the games, you must find a way to reduce the number of choices each time. Fortunately, a French mathematician named Christian Kramp discovered how to do that by using factorials. A factorial is the product of an integer and the integers below it, and is represented by this symbol. All we have to do is figure out how many ways to arrange five games, which is by solving the factorial of five. This means multiplying five by four by three by two by one. The reason why you can multiply these integers is because you have five choices on which game can come first. Then when deciding the game that goes next, you only have four choices left, since the first game you chose cannot be used again for the arrangement. This goes on and on until you are stuck with only one choice to choose for your last game on your shelf. Factorials are basically the equation form of the long list you were planning on making before. Now, let's say you have 25 games that you want to show off to your friends. Can you figure out how many ways you can rearrange the games? Pause the screen now to figure out the answer. Okay, first let's write down the expanded form of the factorial of 25. Since it's much like multiplication, you can first multiply numbers that will give you any multiple of 10. Then you can add the number of zeros together, which should give you 6. Now, afterwards, you can multiply the rest of the remaining numbers. Once you do that, you can add the 6 zeros back in, which results in an extremely large number. Maybe picking the right combination of video games wasn't such a great idea. But at least now, you can laugh when your friends take ages to solve a simple combination question with their inefficient, gigantic lists. Who knew that video games could actually help with your math skills?